Okay, good morning, team. Uh, I'm in a different office today, not my normal one in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm up in Washington, D.C. I'm in the Army Material Command LNO office, and I'm up doing business here uh, at the Pentagon for the week. Um, I had some interesting um, personal experiences in my travels. Um, I was able to fly Mill Air uh, to get up here, so relatively easy process uh, getting on the plane. Felt very comfortable as I traveled, uh, and, and then the, you know a little bit of chaos uh, from there. You know, as we got in rental cars. Uh, moved to the hotel, uh, and then I went into my room and immediately broke out my, my, my wipes like a professional cleaner uh, as I wiped down doorknobs, uh, light switches, TV remotes, tabletops. Um, the key to that, though, was is I did it once, and I was pretty comfortable that I did it well. I just couldn't help myself from doing it two, three, four, five, six more times uh, over the week. Uh, as, as I came back to my room every night. So it's a little bit of a personal thing for me. Uh, I worked my way through it. I feel uh, good, um, but I needed, to do, I needed to do that for my own comfort. Uh, I'm sure you're all working through that in your own way, uh, and I encourage you to continue to do so. As I've talked many times, it's about the personal discipline uh, as we go through our fight against... Uh, uh, as we continue our fight against COVID-19, right? Our ability to maintain personal hygiene, wash our hands, right? Not touch our face, uh, be conscientious of the things that we are touching as we go through the day. Uh, that's very, very important uh, as we defend ourselves against the virus. So keep up the great work there. I just want to reinforce today, uh, as, as things are seem to be opening up all around us, uh, I want you to know that I continue to look at the data every day. I continue to get updates from the CDC, from HHS, the Department of the Army, uh, and we collate that data, and I use it to help me make decisions about whether or not and when we'll bring the workforce back uh, and how we'll bring the workforce back. Uh, it will be uh, data-driven uh, information where I assess risk um, and I start to um, appropriately and measuredly bring us back. In the meantime, continue the work you're doing. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, remind you again of our priorities. Protect the workforce. Prevent the virus from spreading. Uh, and make sure we're doing our mission around the globe 24-7. Uh, and we're doing that well. But it takes your due diligence to get there. This week, I sent the email on Tuesday. I reminded everybody to maintain the diligence uh, and the determination and the persistence to fight against COVID, both personally and professionally. Don't let up now. Don't, don't let the hysteria drive you to a behavior that um, is not in your best interest. What's in your best interest is your ability to take care of yourself, uh, and I am going to be in support of that. Right? As we bring you back into the workforce, we're going to make sure that we have things in place, whether you're in a headquarters, you're at a depot, an arsenal, or a plant, uh, or you're working in just normal office space. We're going to make sure that we have things in place uh, to help you uh, prevent the spread of the virus. You know, about wearing masks, about ways to walk in the corridors, about how many people can get on an elevator or enter a staircase. Um, we want to make sure that we present the best environment so that you can pre present the best ability to work. Uh, and I'm open to all sorts of recommendations. Um, I, I am going to stay liberal with my telework policy. Uh, I am going to bring people into work because uh, we have some people who have been working very hard and I need to rotate. Uh, we're going to um, make sure that the atmosphere uh, at work is appropriate, that we're treating people right. At the end of the day, I feel confident that we're going to lead our way through this. Uh, with you, we can do this, but it'll take the total team, the total team to do this. Uh, one individual, one individual who is not disciplined, both personally and professionally, can cause the spread of the virus. Uh, and this could be a detriment to what we're doing. 
so I need you to stay vigilant. I need you to be determined. Uh, and I need you to be persistent in your ways to take care of yourself. Uh, we'll do this together, and we will be victorious together. Uh, this will end. We will come out of this stronger than we went into it. Uh, and I'm excited about all the possibilities of the future. Uh, I ask that you think about that because with your energy, with your ideas, with your ability to innovate, adapt, and be agile, we will be a stronger organization in support of our great army. So with that said, I'd like to say thanks for all that everybody's doing. Please continue to send us uh, emails, texts, Facebook posts, whatever you're comfortable with. They're very helpful for me. Um, uh, I enjoy them, uh, the good and the bad. Uh, it's very helpful for me as a leader. We are 190,000 people strong, soldiers, DA civilians, and contractors. We are around the world every day supporting the warfighter. Be very proud of that. You contribute every day. Uh, and I'm excited to be your commander. Uh, and I see great things for us in the future. So everybody, take care of yourself. Continue the fight against spreading the virus and continue to work to execute our mission every day. Very proud, very proud to be your commander. Thank you.